Hello, I am Professor Oak, and this is my mask, and this is my armor. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, it's hard to breathe in here. I am doing the, the mask vlog for, well, you know, Caitlin's request. I will be talking about myself. So, you get to see the true professor in his glory. Now, shall we begin? Click yes or click no. Yeah, right, I'm not going to answer that. And I'm not going to edit this. All right, let's get started. Let's see. Old manuscripts says here, Who are you? Give a quick rundown of who you are and what you do on Poke Amino. I am Professor Oak, here to rid this world of all the fears of bad blogging, bad posts, bad polls. I am here to save this world. Well, mostly just Amino. It, yes. It, as you can already tell, I already try and do the best blogs I can with what skills and what resources I have. And, well, yeah, I'm here to make this a better place. Let's be honest. Um, it's uh, this world of subpar content with my beautiful face that you'll never get to see. <laughs> my face isn't that beautiful. Now, it's time for the next question. If you could become any Pokemon, what would it be and why? I would be a Farfetch'd, because Farfetch'd is the Pokemon of a Samurai. Yes, us knights want to become Samurai when we grow up. Asian warriors here to rid this world of... Uh, whatever Asians rid the world of. It... It, Caitlin, you are Asian. What do Asians rid the world of? Tell me in the comments now. Yes, I would be a Farfetch'd because Farfetch'd are like the perfect example in Pokemon of actual samurai. They are very honorable. They are a died off species to be, or to kind of give you a demonstration. It, it's just like Farfetch'd. Now, let's look. Question three. What do you think is the creepiest po part of Pokemon? Can be a place, Pokemon, character, etc. The creepiest thing about Pokemon is... Um... Let's see... Well, it's the world they live in. You see... Oh gosh, this thing is heavy. You see, the creepiest part about Pokemon is that it was compl It was... Well, it was the human world. They have all the human technology. They have all the human advancements. They, they, they seem to even have the human world's animals. Yet, somehow, Pokemon are there. And there's a mystery that is not solved yet. It is a very creepy thing. The theories that come. The theories that go. Pokemon may never be dis truly discovered. That is one of the creepiest things about Pokemon. Yes, it is. Now, let's move on. What is your favorite ghost, do ghost slash dark type? Sableye is the best. For one good reason. It is the best of both worlds. JK. The, it, well. Okay, let me get this straight. Sableye is, it, Sableye just is the most interesting ghost type. It has a cool design. It has a great backstory. It has all. It has. It has what it is. It. It is what it has. It has what it is. I said that like three times now. It. I don't know. The the Pokemon just has a good design. It has it. It has its good. It. It has its good descriptions. We know what it is. And well, it's a good Pokemon all around. I'll just tell you that. Oh, okay. No, it's time for the fifth question. What Pokemon would you have on your zombie apocalypse team? I would choose Charizard. The reason for Charizard is 
two reasons. Maybe even three if you count the third one. Charizard, oh gosh. Charizard is a Pokemon that has the move Heat Wave. One of the most interesting moves in the games. It, and an attack that can hit both, t uh, hit all three Pokemon on the field if it so must. In Mystery Dungeon, it can hit all Pokemon in the room. So, it, with that knowledge, it is the mass flamethrower weapon of Pokemon. It can also fly and carry you with it. Not in red and blue, so if we're playing Pokemon red and blue, we may just be screwed. So, that is the Pokemon I would pick. Also, the third reason is Charizard has two possibilities to Mega Evolve. It, and, well, we all know Mega Evolutions will help definitely in the zombie apocalypse. So, now it is time for the six. there's a sixth question. What amino users would you have in your team? Would, well, first off, I choose Crystar 500. She totally is a bad A that knows what she's doing. It, she knows all the creepy facts about this Pokemon world, most likely. She, it, she knows how to survive and keep her cool in combat. So, if there's anybody I would um, uh, keep my life to, Probably her. The second person I would choose is Killer Ant, or as we know him as Kanye West right now. So, uh, my point about Kanye West or Killer Ant is we need a token black character. If there wasn't a token black character, we would not have this story. It is a true fact. Now, oh gosh, this hurts. Okay, let's see. Um, the third character is silver from the croissants. Now, uh, ow. Uh, there we go. Silver from the croissants. He is a very philosophical person. It, he, it, he can keep the group together if we're try, it, if we're failing in the, you know, keeping sane part of things. He can point out good reasons why we're keeping alive and keep our morale up. Now, the other thing is he can make it it, he's a very, very smart person. He can make plans. He can think. He can think of um of it ways we can learn how to. He can think of plans we can live with. Um, that was not a very good description. Anyways, the fourth member would be me, probably the person to die first. So those are the four people I would pick. Now, uh, let's see. This, the seventh question. What are your current thoughts on this community? Um, share your experiences with us. The good and bad. The community... Okay, give me a second. Well, Poke Amino has... Uh, ow. It's really been just a kind place to me. It, it, the people here are so nice... What was the thing I was saying? This is really hard to do. Well, community, uh, Amino's just been a home to me. I really like it. Um, it, yeah, I did, it, I mean, the biggest experience I've had with Amino has probably been my group. League, League of Extraordinary Professors. We're the greatest in the community, probably. I don't know. I'm probably just making this up. Now, on to the eighth question, because the seventh and eighth question are basically the same for me. True story, eh, bro? So, um, uh, are there any shoutouts you want to make? Wait. Gosh dang it. Okay, no, never mind. Seventh question is the same as the rest. Pokemon, Poke Amino has been a home to me. I mean, really. Who wants to be friends with this guy? I can be funny at times, but really... It, I'm probably one of the weirdest people here. And kind of socially awkward in real life. It, but yet, you guys accept me for who I am. Even with the content I make, even with the stuff, the f stuff and things I say... With all of that, you still accept me for who I am. And that's what I truly like about this. 
amino place. Now, things I don't like. It so this is a problem I've come to it quite often, about probably three times now. And those were theories I've made that people want to just break down and tell me I'm wrong about everything. So, right now, screw you! I don't want you telling me my theories are just wrong just because you think they're wrong and you think they're bad. Please, do not tell me they are wrong. It, if you're going to tell me they are wrong, then give a good reason, or else you might have to face the might of the knight and the blade. Now, now that we got that settled... Uh, yeah, please, if you have a good reason, explain it. Don't tell me why there's another theory that's just better for no dumb, for no good reason. Now, on to the eighth. Huh. Um, it, are there any shoutouts you want to make? Yes, Caitlin, thank you for being such a good member of this community, for being the admin of this community. I personally do not... Uh, I personally have no idea what it might be like trying to make such good content whilst trying to keep this community intact. You are very it you are a very hard worker. I'm sure of it. Oh by the way, and keeping life up. That's also a good point. So yes, very hard worker. Thank you for being you, Caitlin. And I would also like to thank our group. Yes, the League of Extraordinary Professors. The League of Extraordinary Professors has been so good. It they've they when when there's problems in the this when there's problems in the community and especially in the group, I'm not blamed for any of the problems that happen. Although you could perfectly blame me for anything that's happened in the group. There's been tons of trials it just in this month. People that have been banned, people that it joined the group that it, it um well, there are co they are completely unworthy of the title. Well, it, even through all of that, you guys have kept through. You've kept the faith. You've been so kind. Thank you. Thank you dearly from my heart that you, that you are a community who cares. And you're a group that cares. I don't deserve this community. I don't deserve any of it. it now, it, just thank you. Now you want a face reveal? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh gosh, this thing is, this thing is terrible. It, at least the katana is cool. Whoop! Okay, so, thank you guys for watching. And, well, if another intro vlog happens, let it be so. I want to try and get better at this whole, you know, talking thing. It, I think that, I think that this suit has really disabled me when it comes to talking. It is so hot in this thing. Anyways, now I'll stop talking. Now, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye-bye.